Just brushing the mustache. Brushing the stash. What's up, Space Case, we're back. About a year ago, I did a video where people sent me photos and I turned my followers into monsters. There is a part one of this video that you should all go watch before watching this one. But about a year later, we're gonna do round two. So I put it out there on Instagram, hey, looking for photos of people, like send me your selfies or photos that you want me to turn into monsters. Obviously, I couldn't guarantee doing every single photo that I was sent, but I did about six. So yeah, we're gonna be turning some people into monsters today, painters. Also, I hit 15,000 subscribers this week. That's freaking cool. So at the end of the video, I'm gonna announce our 15,000 subscriber giveaway. Stay tuned for that. Actually, before we get started, uh, I'm just gonna show you this. Chances are, if you buy some of my Space Case merch, like this beanie, I am going to take the picture and turn you into a monster. So if you missed out on getting turned into a monster during this round, pick up some products. And chances are, I will most likely make art out of you. Thank you to Brianna, who bought a beanie and is now immortalized as a grotesque creature. Thank you. Now, let's check the DMs, see who we're working with here. Who do we have to work with? Seems like a lot of people are sending me pictures of them and their animals. So I think to warm up, maybe we'll knock out some cats because there's a lot of cat pictures that I'm being sent. I think we're gonna start out with this picture of Egomania Q and it is him and his cat that we are gonna turn into a monster. So let's get into this. All right, so just finished up this quick warm up for Egomaniac. I believe that would be what the Egomania Q is. I don't know why I said it like that. I'm now thinking that it's probably Egomaniac. Thank you for submitting your photo. I went with this monster cat. Typically I do the humans on these, but I love cats. How am I not gonna do a monster cat? What we did was gave him the green skin. I went through and just kind of like did these green shadings just so it would be like, oh, this is obviously like patches of fur. Did the darker green up in his ear just to kind of set it apart. And obviously we've got the space case eye, customary of all my designs. There is our first follower to monster. I'm actually going to send this over to him right now. Egomaniac. Boom. Here you go. Duder. Be sure to tag me if you repost. The video will be out later today. Sent. I want you guys to think I'm just taking people's pictures and not giving them the art. They get the art. We have another cat picture here from the Cat Queen Project. And this one is her holding a mug in one hand and her cat in the other. The only thing with this picture is it's kind of blurry, which makes it hard to work with. I tend to ask people to send me like high res photos when I'm doing these because it's kind of hard to work with a blurry photo. But I like this cat, so I'm gonna make an exception with this photo. Even though it's kind of blurry, we're gonna make something with it. Let's jump in to the Cat Queen Project, follower to monster. Okay, so just finished up this piece. Like I said, kind of blurry, so it was hard to work with. Did the cat all like just orange. I didn't really feel like doing slime this time. I hate doing the same thing over and over and over again. So this one, I decided to just do a regular cat with all like the darker shadings for the fur and stuff. We come down here, I did this monster mouth coming out of the cat's stomach. The Cat Queen Project now has a cat monster project. What are we at, two cats so far? Let's check the DM, see if there's any more cats that we can go with. Maybe this whole video will just be like turning my followers' cats into monsters. Never know. There's 
enough cat people in the world. I really think that could happen. I think some people actually sent them to my email, which is actually way better because you can send higher quality images. Next time I do one of these, if I say, hey, send me photos, you should email them like these people because then I get to work with very high quality photos and I get to do more detailed pieces. I believe the next one we are gonna go with is from someone named Lex Abiel. They sent this selfie of themselves. So we're gonna jump in there and it's high res. I get to do detail, which is exciting. <laughs> Thank you for sending a high res photo. I appreciate you listening to instructions. Okay, I may have gotten slightly carried away with this one. There's a lot of detail and I spent like hour and a half, two hours on this. I'm definitely gonna have to, uh, yeah, I don't know, not spend that much time on these pieces or this is gonna take days. With this one, I gave her this like crazy monster mouth, these like super elongated gums, kind of inspired by uh, Pennywise in the It movie where it like kind of stretches out its mouth. Gave her the cool eyes. I like doing these glasses. That was kind of a cool change. I, uh, I did it with like a blue color and then just lowered the opacity so yeah I don't know I like doing that that was dope the wide open space case eye and then we got the crusty eye and then instead of doing slime I did all these like crazy like wrinkled like crusty I don't even know what I would call it but I very much like it yeah I spent a lot of time on this photo I think I got a little carried away with the fact that it was a high-res photo but it looks dope I'm pretty proud of it her hair was blue in this so I decided to go with orange because those colors work well together thank you Lex for sending a high quality photo you made me get carried away and spend a lot of time on your piece. Thank you. Our next photo comes from Dylan Bartels. He sent me the photo on Instagram. I asked him to send it to my email so it would be a little higher quality. He did that, got it right to me. So Dylan, you have made the cut. We are now gonna jump into this photo and make Dylan a monster. All right, so <laughs> I've now decided that I need to start putting a timer on for these because I once again just spent more time than I should have doing this entire piece. Looks cool though. These glaring eyes and then the third eye kind of peeking out of his hat. The way I did it, he kind of looks like an angry pug. Kind of clashes against his uh, the smiling photo that he sent me, but I don't know, I'm definitely a fan of this. Uh, I went with these lighter blues and then like an even lighter blue on his neck just to kind of differentiate the neck and the face. There's a lot going on on it, but it looks really cool in my opinion. From now on, 40 minute timer. Just because someone sends a good photo doesn't mean uh, I need to spend two and a half, three hours on each one. This next one that we are gonna go into is from Michigan Made Muralist. And and he sent me two photos to work with, one kind of like a normal smiling face, and then the other one he's looking super goofy. So we're definitely going with the goofy one. I like that photo. This guy is actually the one that won my 14,000 subscriber giveaway. So kind of convenient that he's now making an appearance in the 15,000 subscriber giveaway video. Let's jump into this. Michigan made muralist. Time to become a monster.
Okay, so my 40 minute timer went off. I got most of it done. The only thing I have to finish is the red in the eyes. Yeah, I went a little bit over 40 minutes, but only like 41, 42 minutes. But there we go, Michigan made muralist. I went in, I did the crazy eyes. This is the first time I haven't just done strictly black eyebrows. I usually just kind of like block them out and make all the eyebrows black regardless of hair color. So I did that, I did these boils, started doing those recently on another project, and now I'm kind of like, yeah, I wanna give everybody like gross boils. We have Michigan Made Muralist with his skin melting off, and he's got all these gross boils. He's got these two fangs sticking out. Still looks like he's having a great time. I like the way this one came out and I like that I was able to pump out a usable photo in 40 minutes. Um, I think maybe I was just overthinking the other pieces and that's why they took so long because I feel like quality wise, this isn't too off base from the other ones and it was only 40 minutes. Definitely gonna stick with that timer from now on. And I think we're gonna do one more photo. The next one's actually gonna be of my pop-up, not from uh, somebody's DMs, but just a little family picture that I was sent. We are gonna jump over, make my pop-up a monster, after that, I will get into the giveaway details and we'll be done here. Rob, my pop-up, great guy. Got this photo of him at one of my little brother's uh, football games. He's wearing one of my beanies too, you know what I'm saying? I went with this kind of like purple color for him, gave him this green tongue that's just kind of like hanging out of his mouth and I gave him this kind of like predator looking mouth and then the crusty eyes with his glasses and oh, what is that? Is that a space case beanie? Oh, dang. That was kind of cool. I like doing this, um, I showed it to him. He thought it was pretty funny. So that is actually gonna be the last follower to monster that I'm gonna do in this video. I really appreciate everybody that submitted photos. If you didn't make the cut in this one, there's always next time. Before we even jump into the giveaway, I just have to do a disclaimer. Please do not start sending me photos of yourself being like, make me a monster, make me a monster. Unless I announce on my Instagram or social media, hey, I'm filming followers to monsters three, don't send me your photos unless you're ready to like commission a piece from me. If you send me photos without me requesting, them, I will ban you from being in the next video. I'm putting it out there now. I'm stopping any unnecessary selfies being sent my way in advance. The only way I really want to see your pictures is if you're posing with one of my creations or I ask for them. That's it. Disclaimer done. 15,000 subscribers. I've been trying to think of what I wanted to do. I'm going to offer a digital monster painting of you. It won't be 40 minutes. I will 100% take my time. I'll take as much time as I need to get it looking good and presentable. Fully digital painting monster of yourself. If you win, we can go back and forth. You can send me a bunch of photos of that you like, and I will pick one. I'll do a full monster version, something that I would typically charge higher up for, you can get for free. The whole way you're gonna get that, drop a comment below. Give the video a like, share the video. That's it, it's all you gotta do. And it's Monday, April 20th right now. Next Monday, April 27th, I'll put up another video and I'll do the 15K sub giveaway winner in that video. So make sure you check that out in a week. Drop a comment, like the video, share with your friends. I appreciate you watching me turning my followers into monsters. If you're interested in getting a beanie or anything like that, check out my shop. As always, thank you painters. Appreciate you. Happy Monday. Let's make it a good week, guys. Let's get a lot done. Let's not let everything going on drag us down. Let's stay on it. We got this. Appreciate you guys watching. Peace.